different ride. Not gonna lie, it is kind of fun. Seems to have a long first gear, which I like. Little mirrors are gonna take some getting used to. And the first mile is down and in the books. Many more to go. I feel like I'm sitting on top of the world. So once again, this is the 650 KLR S model and it is a 2023. Um, I've always wanted a KLR. I've never been able to get on one. I have a 28 inseam on a good day and I am somewhere between 5.1 and 5.2. So owning a KLR has always been an impossibility until this year. Um, I am smiling. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I got a little bit of a giggle here and uh, feeling pretty good about this. So this is the first time I am out on it. I will be leaving in, oh, either two or three days to do a, well, 700 miles to start with down to Virginia. And then we'll take it from there. Um, don't know where, where I'll go after that, if I'll come directly home or if I'll go somewhere else. I guess it depends on how the ride's going and how I feel about it. Uh, expecting to hit some rain, expecting to leave in rain. So, uh, be able to give you a review on how this thing feels in the rain. I mean, it's a lot of fun so far. Just the way that it turns. Uh, it's turning a lot of heads, I can tell you that. Uh, as I go by people, they're definitely getting a good look, look at her. Um, I don't know what else to say. The helmet, pretty good. Uh, this is an AFX, I think it's a range helmet, it's called. And, uh, there isn't much wind noise in it, not at all, compared to what I thought there would be. I don't know what the mic is picking up, but I can hear my engine, uh, and it is very windy out today, so if ever there was a day to test it, I have all the vents open, so there is that too. It seems to get right up between... Uh, 35 and 50. And there's somebody trying to wipe me out with a trailer changing a lane at the last minute. kick I mean they're not going to break any any records with it by any stretch of the imagination but uh, and it's weird not having that extra gear it feels like it should it's a pretty good corner to see how she goes here Once again, I feel like I'm sitting on top of the world. For those of you that have been watching, uh, I just actually got on the road that Jake blew his tire on the other day. And we're thumping right along. this atlas out, see how that works. It 
seems to hold up pretty good. Really enjoying this ride right now. I feel like I am 12 years old again. Enjoying every second of this. For those of you, uh, well, old timers, I guess my age, uh, that remember Little House on the Prairie, um, I'm actually about to go past Almanzo Wilder's boyhood farm and home here with the schoolhouse. Uh, you can probably see it up in the distance. It's right over there, red house. That was his house and the barns are behind. Uh, they do uh, tours and they show people how things were done back in the day. The schoolhouse is over there in the corner. That's not... Yeah, I'm pretty tickled right now. I do keep reaching for another gear. Uh, this is pretty cool. I am having a great time right now. Okay, so took a little 15 mile scoot and heading back into town. going to enjoy this ride. I think my first long ride is going to hit me right in the keister. Uh, but I believe after that, I get the seat broken a little bit. Uh, I get used to sitting on top of the world. Everybody uh, seems to complain about the front brake on these. I don't think uh, I have the same complaint. I'm feeling like the front brake is uh, pretty good in this. the other guys say about the it doesn't excel in any single area but uh, it's kind of a C plus all the way around I like that idea and I mean I'm carrying full packs too it seems to just get up and do what it needs to do no complaint Alright, so this is the finished product. Now let's talk a little bit. So I absolutely love the panniers. I think even though they were a hassle to put on, um, the storage is there. I like the double lock security. Um, yeah, I'm pleased with them. Uh, as far as the pannier rack, everything seems to be pretty solid there. Um, the tires... We're going to have to address those down the road. Uh, but for right now, they'll do. And then uh, the bag. Uh, jury's still out. I think uh, I'm going to get some underlayment and put some, like, uh, 3M clear vinyl underneath the bag. Um, hopefully preserve the paint a little bit. Uh, crash bars are all there. Love them. Uh, the lights, absolutely one of the best things I got for the for the unit. I like them. I think I'll be seen coming down the road, uh, which is the whole objective. Uh, let's see what else we got. Eventually we'll put some bark busters on there, but for right now, uh, those seem to cut the wind all right. Obviously, they're not going to provide much protection for the clutch and the brake, but they're there. The lower crash bars, all there. Love them. Um, all right, as far as my expectation for this bike, I feel like a little kid. I feel like I am 12 years old all over again. Um, I just put, uh, well, let's see. You saw that I left with zero miles. I'm still riding. And there's 54 showing on the odometer. Um, I think out of the 54 miles, I smiled for 53 of them. Uh, Yeah. I'm pleased. I hope uh, everybody's enjoyed watching this come together. And uh, there's going to be more to come. 
so stand by for that. Uh, we start trips. Those will be the next videos. We'll be putting one out with the equipment that I bring for the trip. And I'll show you what, uh, what I think is good and uh, what I've been using for years, which is uh, tried and true. I uh, still haven't messed around with the cameras on this, but uh, we will. I don't know if anybody has any questions or comments. Once again, so I am between 5.1 and 5.2. Um, I have a 28 inseam, and I have had absolutely no problem at stoplights, stop signs. Uh, I can get the balls of my feet down. I can't quite get flat-footed, um, but I'm close enough. I feel comfortable. All right, then. That is, I think, my review. Oh, well, you know what? Let's talk about the uh, get up and go. I'm very happy with the power, and I know some people have complained about that front brake. I have no problem with it. Um, I think it brakes fine. So uh, maybe it's a 23 thing. Maybe they change things around again. I don't know, but I'm very pleased. Uh, that Enduro Engineering skid plate, what a good look that is, and I think that is absolute 100% function right there. So we got the best of both worlds. Well, thank you for joining me on this maiden voyage. And uh, I look forward to providing more content to come. We start our trip next week. We'll be providing coverage for that. And, uh, yeah, if there's any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the uh, comments section.